Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 360. Since, but since I'm on a big Sega kick at the moment, I thought I'd dig out my 360 from uh, the wardrobe and fire up this game because I really, really, really want to play it. So to put this into like perspective, there are currently four generations of Xbox uh, sat in front of my TV. Pretty cool sight to look at. Pretty bloody space-consuming uh, though. Uh, also, so this was released by developed by AM2 in 93 and released in the arcades in 94 by Sega based on NASCAR racing. I believe it's the most successful arcade machine of all time. It's the first game, I think, to use the model board, a model 2 board with something like 300,000 uh, polygons a second. I mean, Virtual Fighter and Virtual Racer racing were out before this and they were incredibly impressive the whole sort of you know 3d uh, experience in arcades was properly properly kicking in and you know namco and sega clearly went head to head with ridge racer and daytona and it's funny uh, ridge racer always won it for me on the consoles over daytona it's not a terrible port on the saturn despite its many failings it's still a very good rendition of the game and it's better than um, its sequel daytona championship edition because that's not daytona arcade but yeah, so I preferred Ridge Racer on the PlayStation compared to Daytona on the Saturn. But in the arcades, let's get into this, uh, in the arcades I was always a uh, Daytona boy. I don't know where I saw it, it certainly wasn't Westford Ho, certainly wasn't Minehead. Um, it probably would have been uh, a Dave and Buster's or a Showcase Cinema. The cabinets were incredibly expensive and I believe you could link them up. but. Right off the bat, I've got the sound down for obvious reasons. That music is, well, it's cheesy, it's all balls, but it's iconic. Just That just reminds me of being in the arcades, uh, popping, well, it must have been at least a quid, maybe more, for a go. And yeah, this, this to me looks fantastic. I mean, this is a 360 version, so is, I'm sure it was on PlayStation as well. But is this, like, basically the most accurate... Uh, arcade ports of it. There was a version on the Saturn, Saturn, sorry, the Dreamcast, but I don't think that's considered to be, or might have been the sequel, I don't know. See, the problem with some of these games is licensing and things like that meant you couldn't call it Daytona USA or something. Later on, in it's like um, Sega Rally 2 on the Dreamcast, that wasn't even done by Sega. I don't know, I'm waffling, but am I right in assuming that if you want to play like a basically arcade, perfect and accurate version of Daytona USA, then this is the version which I'm assuming again because the licensing means it's probably never going to come back on the Xbox Store or PlayStation, in which case, at least Microsoft, get rid of it. You know, unavailable underneath. Who cares? Get rid of it. Now, uh, I remember it's got, you know, the mechanics are somewhat different to Ridge Racer. You, you still have to, you know, um, like, instigate slides and stuff like that, but I haven't played this in donkey's years so don't expect me to be any good literally just drag this out of the cupboard i do remember um when i last played it all those years ago i did play it solidly for about a month yes i'm going for very easy for the purpose of this video because me and talking and playing games at the same time we don't get on so well we do not get on so well time limit normal yeah, I'm going to go with easy there as well, because why not? Start backwards. Uh, he's all echoey. Is that supposed to sound like a, a racetrack tannoy? Right, am I right thinking this is in the Smithsonian? I may have dreamt that. Anyway, beginner, short, eight laps. Now, was this run at 60 or 30 frames? 60 frames a second, I would have thought on this. I'm going with automatic. Yeah, me and Manuel, we're, we're not we're, we're not bedfellows. Right, 
So, but yeah, the Sega Saturn ran it what twenty five, dropped to twenty at some parts. I mean, it was one of the first games on it, and it was rushed, and they didn't find their way because three D games got a lot better on the Saturn. Anyway, we're talking about the arcade game, right? You got a bunch of views, which you do with the D pad. Yoink! Don't like that one, right? Too small. Uh, yeah, just about right. Right, position top right, lap top left, speed in the middle, radar beneath your position, which I looked at, so that just happened. <laughs> and beneath that is your track. Look, your car gets all banged up. Now, look at the reflection on the rear view mirror. I know it, they didn't do that properly on the Saturn. I'll shut up about the Saturn version. I like it. We just passed Sonic uh, on the cliff face. Now, you always associate this, this looks brilliant i know vintage you know retro member berry goggles and all that stuff but to me this looks absolutely fantastic i mean if you told me i mean i know new generations of consoles were coming and stuff like that and we kind of knew about it back then but if you there we go power slide oh if you told me that one day we'd be playing this at home in our bedroom you know as kids well as adults sorry and it would be arcade perfect i would have said shut up absolutely shut up but here we are and this is an old game now, and I don't mean old as in the arcade, I mean old, oh yeah, th what's the deal with the fruit machine? Yeah, I mean old as in old Xbox Live game. Look how many cars are on the screen? Oh, absolutely fantastic. I wonder how many of these machines are still out in the wild. I know, if you stop to think about it, that I think it might be in the Wikipedia article or something, or somewhere I read it, maybe it was a YouTube video, that when you think about it, you forget about when it comes to worldwide how many machines exist of certain arcade machines it's not a massive amount i mean and i mean especially at launch right six to forty seven of forty but yeah cars are banged up and shit yeah this is awesome source so if anyone knows the deal with the licensing on Daytona, why is it not on Xbox Live or PlayStation Store anymore? And can it not be called Daytona USA anymore? And so will it, if it does come back or it is on other stuff, get out of the way. Um, does it just call, I don't know, Sega Racing or something? You know what I mean, but there you go. I'm quite surprised that there's still a little bit of pop-up. And then I didn't make arcade games in the 90s, did I? So, Right, how do you do the thing with a fruit machine? And I don't mean get horrifically addicted to gambling. Right. There we go. Oh, shit. Stop. See, this is it. Stop looking at the screen. Does that mean all these tar tracks happened in real time? Because, again, there would have been... Well, I guess that happened in virtual racing. There hasn't been anything like that. But, yeah. And, oi, closing the door on me, you bastard. And also, um, you, you, oi. Oh, there we go. Um. When exactly was Ridge Racer released in comparison to this? I mean, when I say I preferred one on the PlayStation over one on the Saturn and one in the arcade over the other in the arcade, it's not like there was a massive divide between them, just because they were both iconic games doing stuff. I couldn't power slide then, must be because my cars were banged up. I want to take some cones out. Yeah, doing stuff that we never even heard of. And then, oh, I am banged up. And then everyone else having to try and... Uh, bang! Look at that. Everyone else having to play catch up with them. But isn't the first 3D, I mean there were early 3D games, I forget it, but the one that's in Steve Benway's intro. I should play it on my modded Xbox. Xbox number two. Or Xbox number one, I should say, that's currently set up in front of my telly. Is that development team? Right, yeah, granted I played on very easy with very easy time, but there you go. That's how I roll. Uh, and also, yeah, quickly, sorry, another random tangent. It's very techno -y music. I know it's the 90s, but you just think techno music with, like, Ridge Racer. Thank you. All right. Certainly a screen I never got to in the arcade. Isn't that lovely music? Only we won't because, you know, copyright and stuff. There we go. Where am I? Where am I? Come on. There we go. Thank you. I guess we jump on to the next track. Yep. Yep. Yeah, do I have to, I don't like the fact, you should set it up and then it should stay set up because it really brings you out of thinking, oh my god, I'm playing the arcade cabinet sort of mode. That got away with me, but you know what I mean, brings you out a little bit. Same with Virtua Fire, which I played the other day. But then, you know, as much as I love that game, this, I, I have so much more nostalgia for, and this is so much more, um, you know, iconic. And here we go, racing in a, a world of 
Weedabix, I got shredded weed. Come on, that's what it looks like. Right. There we go. Oh, we got the uh, tarp track. Yoink, yoink. The sound design is also epic in this, like when we go through tunnels and stuff, which we are about to do very shortly. Ooh, there you go. Time extended, thank you. Hey, careful. Careful, they're ruffled. Points for the quote. I'll give you a clue if you go into space. Ooh, yoink. Yeah, so it's just a shame I got the sound down because of, you know, flagging and shit. But, well, you know what Daytona sounds like. Ooh, your tail doesn't like being on grass. Hey, in the 90s, I'm just looking at all the wind farm shit uh, on the side of this racetrack. I don't recall everyone having such a hard on the green energy in the 90s. Curse you, Billy. Curse you. Oh, well. Oh. When that happens, uh, that's a true power slide that I guess I've, uh, you know, triggered. Um, when that happens, completely let your finger off uh, petrol. Oh, look at that. I do like this. It's not very easy, but there's still a level of AI with the opponents where they come screaming in like that to try and cut you off. Or maybe it's randomised, and I should just get a white stick. Oh, there we go. See? Sound in the tunnel. Look at them. Did they have those little flaps on the roof? Then. I forget what they did. Was it to stop you rolling over or something? I can't remember. Was it an air break? I don't know. Never watched NASCAR. Must have, I think it was an episode of Top Gear. Sorry, random waffle arch. I've lost it. I've lost it. We, and uh, we were, I was going to say, shall we try another view? But let's be honest, that's not going to happen. I can barely do it in this view. Oh. But I mean, I'd oh. love to know what your memories are of this. And I don't necessarily mean the 360 version. Or do you have 360 or the PlayStation uh, version? And um, when did you get it? I know in 2017 it was made backward compatible for the Xbox One, so it must have been available in 2017. But then 2017 is five years ago, isn't it? So, well, and it wouldn't mean that much more before that when I got it on my 360. Bollocks! I'm really not very good at power sliding, am I? Right. Where's that? Am I going 250 miles an hour? Is that kilometers? Otherwise known as Guam. No, it can't be. It, this is America. This is America. I thought it was America. This is America. We do miles in America like we do here in England because it's correct. Yes. Sure, sure. And stuff. Oh, talking stupidly. Can't drive. Is there air street? No. What then? Sorry, I'm talking to myself and answering myself. Slipstream. Sorry. You know, so you can get behind someone and use them to speed up. In 1994, although it was developed in 1993, so... Like, what's that, one more lap? Yeah. I still have to look at the laps to see that, to confirm that, if you will. Oh. Yoink! I am shy, isn't it, this? Thing is, right, when I played it last time, I played it solidly for about a month. So, I might have to... Well, I want to leave my Xbox 360 out, because... This may be backward compatible, but obviously <laughs> the hard drive isn't. So, but I wanna, I wanna, you know, get back into this properly. It deserves it. It's a classic. It deserves far better than my driving ability, but there you go. Ooh, why? Not a lot of lyrics in this song, are there? I guess that's part of its charm. Spin shot! Right. I keep saying right, like I recognise the corner, I know exactly what to do in it. Car sandwich, if in doubt, car sandwich works a treat in every racing game. Actually, not so much this one. Yay, that was shocking. Absolutely shocking. Shall I have a go at the final track? Easy difficulty and time or not? Well, I'd say that, but this still kicked my ass. Um, I remember, briefly, that that track... Ah, uh, being balls hard, which you would expect. There we go. Don't forget to bring me out of the arcade experience. Thank you. Right. It's like one of those ones where you really got to concentrate. And I'm going to be talking. 
I don't concentrate pretty good when I see. Don't talk pretty good. Can't concentrate pretty good when I um. I remember you. Uh, don't talk. Right. I just looked at the map and I'm like, okay, this is gonna end in tears. Right. Maybe I should slow down a bit. And it's this bit. I got memories that there's a bit coming up where I always get confused. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow down. Oi! I'm gonna slow down a bit and keep some cars as pets, if you will. Look at that! Don't remember there being that much pop up or flipping in the. Uh, well, yeah, well, it's it's a while ago, isn't it? Get out of the way. Actually, don't. I hold my hand so I get straight, and then I'm gonna go the tits. Oh! Yoink! Oh, this is vicious. Obviously, you've all probably played it loads. I'm like, this is easy, day. Good for you. It's important that we have life goals. <laughs> Are those houses? Oh. They're kind of like the little village of Sega Rally, even though that doesn't exist at this... Oh, point. I still can't quite get my hand on or head around. Shit. Not shit, that's something gross. Um, those power slides. But there we go. Yoink. Isn't the Hornet, and um, I should know this, I probably did it in one of my gameplays. Uh, the Hornet is an unlockable fighter in Fighters Mega Mix. Ooh, isn't it? I hope I've got a roll cage in there. I'm assuming I have because I'm still alive. Even though it's a video game. It's still on the screen. Oh. It's just your turns go so vicious. Ooh, softly, softly, catchy monkey. Oh. Thank you. Nice time, person. Right. No, 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 no. Was that a pit? No. Was that a? Sp I think I saw a space shuttle or a picture of the space shuttle. Or I'm seeing things. I don't know. Come on. How many laps? One of two. Wait, what? Oh, this is a totally long course. Yeah. Shit. This is a totally long course. Hey, only three tracks, they say. Do look at the size of this one. So that's one lap. Yes, that's one lap. And I'm 14, but I'm halfway through the pack, even though I, I clearly need the pack to uh, know where I'm going, because I get scared. All right. I can't look at the map. Me looking at the map is just a recipe for shit to find my face. Whoa! Oh look! Bollocks. How'd you get... How'd you turn around? I don't know where I'm going. Is this the right way? Where's my reverse? I haven't got a reverse. I still can't believe I'm not last. I still got time extension. Oh look, there's Jeffrey. Um, a little fourth wall breakage there, I guess. Or is it even that? Right. How do you reverse? Is it? It's got. I didn't look at the. I'm not going to lie, people. I don't look at controls. It's a driving game. You just assume right trigger accelerate, left trigger brake, something else change view. I did what I get scared about breaking on grass. Same thing in real life. Right. Concentrate. Seagulls. Right. I gotta stop saying right. Feel free to play a drinking game. You'll be bollocks. Ooh. When you have to fly, you can see my house from here. This bridge, bridge? This bridge is just floating. Right, I'm dabbing the accelerator because it's this next bit that gets me scared. Scratch his nose, that's asking him for trouble. When I'm rich, I'm going to pay someone just to sit next to me, so when I'm playing driving games, like, eyebrow, right eyebrow, itchy. You're right, my left. No, because that would be weird. It'll be a fit bird, obviously. It is the space, is it actually a space shuttle or not? It's a space shuttle. Pretty much that was what my controls were then. Yeah. 
Dubby Dubby. Breakage. At least that self-correcting shit fun in my face means I don't need to reverse. By all means, someone let me know what reverse is. I'm not going to look up the controls. I find a certain charm in not knowing them. Is that it? That was shocking. At least I'm not last. That was shocking. Daytona USA on the Xbox 360. If you still have this on your hard drive, uh, I'd love to know what you think. Is it arcade perfect? What are your memories of the original game when it came out? And what's the deal with other versions on there? And whether or not it could be called Daytona USA because of licensing? And thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.